Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Ayubid Sultanate campaign for Gearhawk's Retrofit Mod Hot Seat Grand Campaign, turn number 40. And we have 10 players remaining in this campaign. We have a request for a Theologian's Guild here. Theologians struggle with being dubbed heretics, which has a benefit of making men who study here pious and proper. It would be good with a thousand, but I see. I think that the that Jerusalem needs their wall upgrade, which actually costs forty nine hundred. So I'm gonna say no for now. We have a blank message from the Golden Imperium. Looks like he uh, thought better about sending me a message because I just ignored them all, anyways. Uh, Sultanate of Rome, don't touch the rebel army in Albania. Uh, so yeah, I think actually the Venetian army rebelled here. Uh, I think that the Turks were actually uh, actually killed the general who was in this army, and now it has rebelled. So uh, the Holy Roman Empire is locked here, and there's no way he's going to be able to defeat that. So with that in mind, and with this uh, threat neutralized, I actually might try and come across and defeat this French army. Uh, here. This is a pretty strong force that I have, so I'm pretty confident I can win. Because uh, I could come up here, but we're actually neutral with the Papal States right now, so I don't want to join another war. So let's come over here. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. It almost looks like it's in his favor. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's an average victory. Uh, we lost a decent amount of men there, but thankfully... Uh, thankfully, that means that he will not be able to move this army, and we can destroy it next turn. So with that in mind, let's actually try and group some of these guys up here. Uh, oh, there's no mercenaries available, which is okay for now. That's not a big deal. Uh, let's just scout up here and see what's going on. So we've got the Turkish Navy here. Uh, I can actually move this this uh, fleet around now to gain control of the Adriatic. Yeah, very good. Um, could actually maybe reach that Sicilian dock there? Yeah, let's hold that, because I think that's actually Naples docks. So if we can block that off or uh, blockade it, it's going to, you know... It won't do much, but it'll keep uh, Sicily from gaining trade through that port for the turn. Let's see who has this. Uh, it's actually rebel territory, so that is fine. So there we go. Let's uh, try and capture that once again. And... Oh, he lost his port over here, which is unfortunate. Uh, but let's just sail around to here. And uh, see if we can take Palermo again. Uh, this As army... Let's jump on the ship and... Uh, let's just land... Here. I want to stay far enough away. Or I could maybe try and land right here. Uh, what do I want to do with that? Because I want to make sure that I'm far enough away that he won't be able to attack me on the end turn. And also far enough away... Or, sorry, but also close enough that maybe I could siege it next turn. Yeah, so let's take the chance. Land the army here. Uh, I would. It's 52%. Oh, nice. We could get in. It's only 40% chance to open the gate, though. Which uh, is less than ideal, but we've got a bunch of trait increases here from that. And here's the end of turn reports. We're actually third overall, but yeah, Holy Roman Empire is number one. Uh, so who's the top five right now, if we take a look? Top five. So we got Holy Roman Empire, the Turks just behind them, then me, France, and Venice overall. Oops, no, no, no. Top five. So, militarily, yeah, we're still the weakest, which is unfortunate. Uh, production, climbing. Territorially. Sicily is actually fifth overall. That just goes to show 
how weak the other five factions are. No offense to them or anything like that, but I mean, if Sicily... I mean, I guess they do have a decent amount of territory, so that would be, what, eight settlements? So that's pretty good, I suppose. But that means that the other five all have less than eight settlements. So I believe it would be Russia, uh, the Moors, the Portuguese, the Spanish, and who else would that be? Russian, Spain, who's, who's living right now? Living factions. So we've got Spain. Uh, yeah, Spain. Portugal. Ah, oh, the Papal States, the Moors. Right, right, right. Okay. Fair enough. Got a very nice, healthy family tree here, though. Very good. Uh, so yeah, that army has landed there. Uh, he could, he's probably going to be able to get those reinforcements into Tunis, which is unfortunate. Uh, I might have to wait for these reinforcements to come over here, so he could be here for a turn or two. Uh, we also have to make sure that we basically move this Egyptian blockade up. Something like this. Orders, mighty Sultan. Yes, Sultan. Orders, mighty Sultan. Inshallah. And orders, mighty Sultan. That's rebel navy pirates. That's fine. Corset. More Na'am pirates there. Yeah, as long as we continue to move this up, and then if we bottleneck the Adriatic, that still means that all of this territory should theoretically be free of enemy ships. Orders, 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 mighty sultan. Orders, mighty, orders, mighty sultan. Orders, mighty. Sultan. Slide that over there a little bit. Inshallah, orders, mighty sultan. Orders, mighty Good. sultan. Good. So that's all taken care of. So yeah, way back at the Jerusalem, they're kind of unhappy, uh, but it's because I think there's a spy in here. So. Uh, it's actually a spy from the Turks. He told me he put one in here. So we're gonna have to actually ask him to get that spy out because it could could cause uh, a revolt uh, in Jerusalem, which would not be ideal. Uh, but other than that, I think everything is good to go. We pretty much spent all of our money. Uh, I could also get a couple more troops here in Jerusalem. Oh yes, our, our other army here, of course. So they can get going as well. Now, where do I want to bring these guys? I mean, the Turks kind of have it over here, so I think maybe we'll just bring this uh, army up the Adriatic. That's a whole nother really good stack that we could have at Ragusa. In one, two, three, four more turns, that's another army. We have this army here as well, so that is pretty good. Let's just keep keep an eye on what's going on at uh, Durazzo, but that Papal States army isn't going anywhere soon. And then, yeah, we have this army here. I, Oh, we have some mercenaries here, but I don't have enough money to get any now. 740, yeah, we're not going to have enough money for that. Yeah, their Spear Militia is a lot better than mine, too. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 16. Yeah, I only have like 8 units, so this is a little bit of a risk. I actually won't be able to probably take that um, out. However, I should be able to take out the Sicilian Navy and then possibly go after uh, one or two of these uh, island towns and just leave Tunis. But then that opens up some issues for them actually coming down this direction and going after Tripoli once again. So I'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, but if I do get these reinforcements over here, because I don't think that's going to be too difficult to take. Uh, and then I might be able to hit this army and then take Naples. So we're in a pretty good position. I just got to be careful that I'm not spreading myself too thin. It takes a lot of time for me to get troops to the front lines, as you can see, because a lot of my good territories for building troops um, are like Cairo, Alexandria, and Jerusalem and Gaza. Because in Gaza, I can actually get the Nubian Spearmen, which are pretty good. Kurdish Javelins, I'm just not really that crazy about. Uh, but we also need this Fortress upgrade too, because I believe that gives me Dismounted Arab Cavalry, which are pretty good as well. Um, but 
Yeah, I'm, I'm still making a little bit of money per turn, which is fine. It's good for now. And all of this should be secure as well, because the Russians are on side, so I shouldn't have to worry about anything coming down this direction through Constantinople. So yeah, that's a Sicilian port, so we're going to have to retake that. But uh, it could be maybe he actually tries to get these guys out of here and maybe pulls them out, uh, thinking he can't stop me. Uh, that would be the best case scenario, because he could probably defeat my army. Uh, in fact, maybe I should get some of these Turkomans in here. Uh, but then Jerusalem won't get their wall upgrade. How expensive is that? It's 4,800. I think we're going to wait another turn. Let's keep getting units. I think that's a better option. I know I've wanted to get that for quite some time. But just to be sure, add another ship into there as well. Yes, my lord. I hope that doesn't rebel on me. That would be unfortunate. No mercenaries here. We could put a fort, but I don't think that's necessary. As I said, that cannot move. And is there anywhere else that could build some units? So we're building at Jerusalem. Gaza. Don't have any there. How many free units can I get here? Only three. Okay. So actually, I'm going to disband that. I don't need it. The super militia are more than enough. Uh, the castle doesn't give me any free units. So with that in mind, just save money. Or I could have actually brought them back over here for retraining, but that's fine. Is there anything else that's cheaper that we can build? Or maybe I should just save my money. Uh, the racetrack. Uh, Arab cavalry, not really important. All right, Nicosia, something cheap that I can get. Uh, improved farms would help with uh, income. Seventy-four to ninety-two. That's about a hundred. So yeah, maybe go for that instead, and then we should still uh, have enough to either do the. Fortress upgrade or the walls for Jerusalem next turn. Yeah, I think that's just the better option. That's Maybe those those uh, Turkomans uh, could be the difference between winning and losing. And uh, having an extra war galley here, a mercenary galley, helps as well. Because this civilian na uh, Sicilian navy, sorry, uh, is a galley, and they're actually better than my Dows. But I think that's just about everything. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Turn number 40 and hand it over to the Kingdom of Portugal. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.